Well, hello and welcome to the virtual 14th Health Disparity Conference 2021. My name is Javan Darbo and I'm a post -bac student at Charles Drew University of Medicine and Science. Let's get started. The title of my research presentation is Chemokines in Dormant Breast Tumors to Promote Rapid Growth and a little background information on our study. Chemokines mediate the host response to cancer by directing the trafficking of leukocytes into tumor microenvironments. They also can directly modulate the growth of tumors by inducing the proliferation of cancer cells and preventing their apoptosis. They are essential coordinators of cellular migration and cell-to-cell -cell interactions and therefore have a great impact on tumor development. Chemokines and the receptors have been implicated as important regulators of tumor angiogenesis and have been described to have a dual function in tumor blood vessel formation. So in our study, it is based on understanding the ligands involved in angiogenesis and how they correlate with this key angiogenic growth factors. So a little bit on the design methods and it should be highlighted right now. In our in vivo study, we utilize African-American triple negative MDAMB 468 standard graphs. We then categorize samples into three phenotypic groups. We have our slow group, which is one to two weeks, our intermediate group, three to 15 weeks, and we have our fast-growing tumors, which is 16 to 20 weeks. Based on these groups, we conducted RNA sequencing on several tumors at several time points. We also injected tumor cells of Xenograph's development in nude mice. So a little bit on the results, and that should also now be highlighted. So if you take a look, you'll see that at figure one, you'll see three pictures. Picture A represents a early 468 Xenograph that came from the cells that were injected. And under immunofluorescent lighting, you can notice that there's a necrotic core that can be observed. In picture B, there's an image of, that shows the categorized samples based on the weeks. Though it may be hard to see the increase of size from the images, picture C shows a great job on using a graph that shows the increase of tumor volume. Point out the reason why we called it slow, intermediate, and fast, due to the rate of speed it grows. So to the next slide. On the slide, you'll notice more of the results in the form of RNA sequencing heat maps. These heat maps show ligands and genes that relate to angiogenesis from immunodeficient mice, but we also examine the human ligands and receptors as well. Here, you'll, you'll notice that on the heat map, the mouse ligands in picture A, and in picture B, which is on the right side, you'll find the angiogenesis markers like VEGF, EGFR, and PDGRB, there, which is also from the mouse. The importance of these heat maps is seeing the upregulation in the intermediate and fast-growing tumors, as this does suggest that they are being expressed. So from this long list of ligands on the left side, I chose to focus on CCL2, CCL11, CXCL1, and CXCL14, which also should be notified and highlighted as well. And on picture B, you'll notice VEGF, for an example, is a key angiogenic factor and is known to have a strong relationship with CCL11 and CCL2, since these ligands promote VEGF. Notice the upregulation trend amongst these growth factors as well. Underneath these heat maps, you'll notice that you'll find the expression numbers of the ligands I just listed, which I'll explain a bit more on the bar graphs. Also note that there is an increase in the expression numbers, especially for the measurement of CXCL14. So going ahead and looking at uh, figure three, which is where I have the bar graph. Picture A illustrates the expression numbers of the listed ligands in a bar graph form. In each ligand, the value of the average slow expression number is graphed alongside with the average fast growing gene expression number. CCL11 has a more significant difference with the p-value of 0 0.008. The next bar graph, which is not on there, but I just switched it, is another picture of the fourth ligand I mentioned, CXCL14. And the reason why I needed a new graph was because the values were significantly higher than the rest. CXCL14 is found to inhibit endothelial cells chemotaxis to VEGF and is known to be a potent inhibitor of angiogenesis. So in conclusion, even though more observations are still needed, seeing how chemokines have positively correlated with growth factors that play a key role in angiogenesis, gives us a further insight on he the heterogeneity of African-American triple negative breast cancer cells lines. As we move on with our studies, we would examine more relations between the ligands 
and how they affect our growth factors like VEGF. Understanding this relationship will help us see the mechanism of tumor progression. So this last um, slide is just some acknowledgements and thank you so much for listening and I hope everyone enjoys the rest of your day and some acknowledgements here and my email just in case anybody has any questions you can please reach out to me and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you so much.